Okay, uh, FAMU. FAMU is doing a damn good job in recruiting. And I'm not just talking about from the kids that they've already gotten to commit. I'm talking about the visits that they have coming this week. They are killing it. Coach Bless, he killing it. All right? But in terms of this wide receiver, because he is a wide receiver, all right? You read the title, you know what this is about. When you want recruiting news, you come to the Blitz City Podcast. Y'all know that. Deuce Oliver is his name. He is 5'10", 165 pounds from Thompson High School in Alabama. Now, what's interesting about this kid is that he is a three-time state champion. That means the program that he's coming from has done a great job in developing him and getting him ready, which means he should be at a certain point by the time he steps on FAMU's campus. And watching his game, man, he fits that right boy culture so well. So well. Because just like every other right boy on that roster already, he has the speed, he has the acceleration, he has the route running ability, he has the quickness, he has the hands. He has all of it. What I found interesting is that according to Bama Preps on Instagram, right, they, they made a list of top 10 wide receivers in the state of Alabama. And they had him at number six, which means FAMU really got a gem in this kid. He had offers from North Alabama, uh, Tennessee Martin, Miles College in Eastern Kentucky, and of course FAMU. Looking at him, I don't know why he doesn't have more offers. I don't know why. A school like that, they, they are getting power five looks all over the board. And a lot of his teammates are going to go power five. Why he didn't, I don't know, but doesn't even matter to be honest with you. What what I'm most excited about, right? FAMU has a really deep wide receiver room. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. Last year, they got four-star wide receiver Robert Lockhart III, who I've interviewed if you want to go check that out. But that was back when he was committed to Jackson State. So just don't be... Uh, just don't be confused by that. But I did interview him, so if you want to go check that out, you can do that. Um, they have Robert Lockhart III, who's a four-star. You still got Kareem Burke, who's, what, a redshirt freshman and one of the most talented guys. As a three-star prospect, still one of the most talented guys on that roster. And now you add Deuce Oliver. On top of that, I think we have two five-star wide receivers of visiting. You got a couple of four-star wide receivers as well and three stars. Y'all are rich. Like, y'all are so rich at wide receiver right now. And you have to give all that credit to the recruiting staff. They are killing it. They are doing a great job. My only question is, because you're so rich, rich at wide receiver, who's going to be quarterback next year? That's that's the only thing I am I really have a concern about or a question about. And if you are a family fan, let me know down below in the comment section because I ain't really heard nothing. Or I don't really know who's your backup QB that could potentially be QB1 next year. So let me know about him because, like I said, I don't know. But Deuce Oliver is now a rattler. Let me know what you think about him down below in the comment section. Also, if you are a FAMU fan and you want me to do a video going over all of the, the big time recruits that you got visiting this weekend, let me know that in the comment section and I will definitely have that video out for you before Saturday. With that being said, my name is Kobe Orr. Y'all have a safe night, a safe day, whatever time you're watching this. Be safe out there and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.